Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's got a question about saving the default your line thickness. I draw everything in a hairline graphic. I draw lines in a hairline. But if he wants something other than a hairline with nothing selected is the key. Double click on your pen tool, make sure or hit F12 have the graphic check and then change these perimeters. I want it to be a quarter inch line. I want it to be black all the time. I want it to be mitered corners. I want round end caps. This is something we'll go over in just a second. I want to scale with object and behind fill. Scale with object is really important. So now whenever we draw a line, it's going to be a quarter inch or a rectangle with beveled corners. When I draw a line, a two-point line, it's going to be rounded end caps, which I don't really particularly like all the time. So the key is nothing selected. Now, if you remember, we this one was scaled with object. We're going to hit the plus key on the keyboard, and we're going to change that one because that one's selected, so I can change just that one. I'm going to take away scale with object. Look what happens. If I reduce this guy to 25%, it looks normal. If I reduce this guy 25%, it's extra thick looking. Now it's still a quarter inch line, but this is reducing it to the amount that it thinks it needs to be. And that's, so when you draw anything, I draw big and then scale it down sometimes. So his, then his next question was, how do I save that? Well, I'm going to change mine back with nothing selected. I'm going to double click on the pen tool. I'm going to make it hairline. I want to make it red. I'm going to make it uh, square end caps. I don't really care about that. Scale with object hidden behind. I don't care about fill behind. That's another subject. And scale with object. I draw everything in hairline so it doesn't really matter. A hairline is going to be a hairline no matter what you do. If we scale this guy down, it's still a hairline. So it's only when you're drawing on those thicknesses. So just go to tools and save as default. And then it's going to save all these things. Now make sure when you do this, that all everything, all your other parameters are the same you want. You want it in inches because that's going to save all this information. Your duplicate distance, your nudge factor. Now let's go behind fill a little bit. Let's make this thing thick. And let, I didn't hit OK. You need to hit OK. I want to make it quarter inch thick. Say OK. I'm going to make a duplicate of this. Okay. I'm going to double click on my pen tool. I've got that one selected. This one I'm going to put behind fill. Now let's fill this one in with blue. Select it. Fill it in with blue. Select it. Fill it in with blue. Look at the difference. That one is and you can actually get it behind there more. This one, the full line, the fill is in the middle. Let's double click on our, well, let's do this. Let's make another box. Hit the plus key on the keyboard. Double click on our pen tool or hit F12. And this time we're going to put right here inside. Look at that. The, there's still an outline there, but the fill is in front of it. So let's take away the color and our line is still there. Add the color back in the fill. It all depends on your positioning. So once you get it set like you like, tools, save as default. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.